Hello everybody, this is Tim from Macklin Ford. In this video, I'm showing this 2020 Ford Expedition. It's in the limited trim. It has roof rails, turn signal mirrors. It is powered by a 3.5 liter EcoBoost V6 engine. It has a rear window uh, wiper, as well as power lift gate. And if you're wondering, it has a remote control where you can um, open up to your lift gate. Uh, remote start as well as entry and the panic alarm. So the, um, the lift gate opens up to reveal a decent area with uh, trunk storage and you can lift this up to reveal your the equipment that you're going to need to change a tire if you ever need to. If you do need more storage space both the second and the third row will uh, fold down for you uh, by pressing these buttons and that's what it looks like. To close the lift gate again, the easiest way to do that is just by pressing the button on the left side of the gate. Moving on to the back seat, we do have the power window controls there, uh, which takes us to a, uh, a leather bench seat that will fit three. And a couple of cup holders there, as well as uh, the radio uh, information, the uh, controls for the uh, rear climate, including the second row heated seats. On the left side, you got two USB ports, and on the right side, you have a 110 volt outlet. Now this second row will also tilt and fold away to provide access to the third row. Now as I transition to the driver's door, uh, this expedition is also equipped with uh, power deploy running boards. Okay, so the driver's door here, you have your power window controls and your power mirror controls, as well as your power locks and the three memory buttons. You move it to the inside here, and you have your power tailgate release and your seat fold back, uh, as well as your automatic headlight uh, controls, which does include fog lights. And then below, below that, you have your electronic parking brake as well as your power adjustable pedal uh, controls. Okay. Which brings me to the driver's seat, okay. which is also fully. Okay. Which brings me inside on the, to take a look at the steering wheel. So we do have your uh, phone controls as well as uh, the voice recognition and the steering wheel mounted audio controls. And on the left side, uh, we have the buttons for your cruise control as well as the buttons for your dashboard memory uh, menu. Sorry. Now, taking a look at your dash, we do see that this expedition has 88,771 kilometers. And your menu, you can go from the vehicle information, okay, to trip, to my view, so you can customize the my view, okay, towing, as well as the power distribution, and vehicle settings. Okay, just to the right of the steering column, you do have a push button ignition. And then moving off to the center display screen, the radio does accept sources from AM, FM, Sirius, as well as Bluetooth stereo. Okay, the climate system is accessed from here too, as well as the phone, so you can connect to a phone. Okay, your navigation system so you don't get lost and okay, you can have uh, some uh, apps in here as well as well as vehicle settings which do include forecast connect voice control apple carplay 911 assist valet mode and this is also where you will see the feed from your backup camera okay, now moving right up above there's this little cubby hole there okay, and this expedition is equipped with a sound system from b and o okay, you know just above the screen we do have some buttons there for your hill descent control um, your anti-skid um, off your has your hazard light button, your lane assist. And then right below that, you have your physical controls for your uh, radio and your physical controls for your uh, climate as well, which do include both heated and ventilated front seats. Okay, off to the right, you do have a 12 volt outlet. Okay, and right below, you have a little cubby hole there. It does have a wireless charge pad as well as two more USB ports. And you can close it up. And then you've got your uh, radial dial for your gear selector, which does have a select shift. Okay, you have your uh, 4x4 control, so 2H, 4A, as well as drive modes. So your drive modes, now you can go from a normal uh, to grass, gravel, sand, mud, uh, towing, sport, eco, and right back to normal. Okay, as well as a couple of cup holders, which you can also uh, close up if you don't want them. Okay, moving up to your overhead console, there is a little storage area here for some sunglasses, as well as the control buttons for your uh, twin panel moonroof. Thanks for watching. For more information on this expedition, you can give us a call at 587-871-8293 and quote stock number 22EP1059A. You can always come on down in person at 135 Glendeer Circle Southeast. We would love to see you. Have a wonderful day.